Good morning, everybody. So today, continuing our examination of some of these management models, today we're taking a look at the Deming cycle. Four elements to the Deming cycle, as we learned in the blog yesterday, plan, do, check, and act. Simple on its face, but be careful. You need to be thorough for Deming to be truly effective, or you may be going through multiple cycles trying to get across that finish line and achieve your goal. But let's take a look at how Deming can be applied within your organization. Two examples from my own experience, very similar. In the auditor's office, we used it in two ways. We used it to groom individuals for promotion, helping build leadership skills and things like that, that they would, the individual might need at the next level. And then we also used it to bring staff who weren't quite hitting particular competencies up to speed, getting them up to performance where we needed them to be. So in that remedial context, we would meet with the audit manager, the individual who needed the additional training, and together we would just basically apply Deming, plan, do, check, act. Together, we'd create a plan, identify the most important competencies that needed to be shored up or developed further. Then we'd go ahead and execute the plan. We'd have checkpoints along the way, making sure that those competencies were being developed at the pace we needed them and to the level that we needed them. And then, of course, we'd either stay the course with our plan or tweak it in order to drive us towards our goal more efficiently, faster. I basically took this model and applied it to my time in oil field distribution. Uh, I provided all of our new staff with a 101 sales document. This would just give them a very broad overview of our supply chain, our inventory, basically anything that you would need to be fundamentally conversant on the phone with a client or potential client. But being a technical sales position, we were handing, handling API tubular goods and line pipe there was a lot of industry jargon and a lot of technical understanding that you needed in order to be truly effective in the position. So how did we do that? We used a role play and we built that role play around Deming. So planning a training session around a particular competency, executing that training session, and then taking time with staff to debrief, making sure that they could repeat with a level of understanding necessary to engage a client in that type of discussion, making sure that they were checking those boxes. Again, is the performance at the level that we expect? If so, great, we move on to a new competency. If not, during that check phase, we move on to phase four, we tweak our plan during act, and we stick with that competency until we get to a satisfactory level, both from our perspective and from our staff perspective. We wanna make sure that they really understood in their own words, how to explain particular concepts to clients or make sure that if a client brought up an issue, they understood the fundamentals of that issue. Aside, piece of advice, if you don't know the best answer, I don't know, I'll go find that answer. But for those change initiatives, those development initiatives, whatever it is you're looking for, if you need a simple, straightforward framework, that's Deming. Now, just one caveat, so you don't go through those iterations over and over again, Thorough, thorough, thorough in that planning stage. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. If you're thorough in that plan, you execute that plan, fewer cycles of Deming, get across that finish line faster. Questions, comments, feedback, I'd love to hear from you. If not, thanks for watching.